Hey YouTube, Colorful Coats here. So today I'm doing a video on the CompTIA A+, well I'm studying for it, and I'm just going to tell you like what I plan to do, and I was going to do a video on how to get the CompTIA or like how to pass it, but it's going to take a while, so I was just like, you know what, and I'm, and I was, and I was saying to myself like, it would be best if I pass the exam and then get a job, and then I can, you know, like make a video about that so yeah so um if you have any like software development related questions wait till the other half of the video the first half of the video is me talking about um studying for the CompTIA so I've been studying for this exam probably seriously for like a month um yeah, I've been meaning to get it for a while now to get the A+, plus, um, because I know it's like entry level for IT and it's very important because I eventually want to get into cybersecurity, and it's very important to learn like how the computer works and all that stuff. So, you know, even if I had a software development job, like I still wanted to get my A+. Plus. So, with that being said, um, so I've been using the Mike Myers on... Udemy, um, the 901, I bought the 901 and the 902, and they're both about $10, um, and I actually have the Mike Myers book, I think this is Mike Myers, yeah, and do you see this book? Do you think I'm going to read this and understand what is going on? I feel like the Udemy course is 10 times better, like, it's visual, and it's really good, um, so yeah, so studying for it with Udemy, well, studying for the A plus itself is like it's a mixture of you know interesting, like I'm gaining knowledge, and you know boredom. <laughs> so anyway, so I finished the 901 um, two days ago, and I started doing practice tests on Exam Compass yesterday, and I don't know. Because I'm, I took the test and I'm just like, um, this is hard. This is really specific stuff that they want you to know about like printers, about like PCI and PCIe and like all this random stuff and so much. Like there's so much. So I did like two tests. I was going to do five and then I realized I'm guessing for the vast majority of questions. So I'm going to do five before I start what I'm doing next, which I'm not taking the test yet, absolutely not. Um, I'm gonna go through all of Professor Messer's YouTube videos. That should take about two weeks, and then I'm going to spend my third week exam cramming the last 15 uh, practice tests and crucial exams. I also heard was free and was good, and I'm well. These are what I'm gonna do, and. Um, Professor Messer, he has like these these notes and quizzes. So I heard a lot of good things on that about that on Reddit. So I'm gonna use that to study for my 901, and then I'm gonna take the 901 because the test is expensive, um, and I'm gonna have to use the edu email. So I went to a SUNY school, so I checked online, and I actually got to get because uh, I deleted my college um edu email like within a year like they were just trying to get rid of whatever space my class took up or whatever on their servers or whatever so <laughs> um yeah so i got a new email um with the edu and i was super excited so now i can get that discount so i heard like it's like 50% off if you get a voucher so I'm gonna use that because each test is a different price that made me really sad because the whole exam would have cost over $400 so now it's gonna cost over $200 but it's still better than 400 so yeah um yeah and then after 901 I take the 902 yeah I have no idea how long it's gonna take I'm trying to finish everything within the next like six weeks um, and take my exam and I really and I heard that they're gonna come out with a new CompTIA um, exam really soon so we'll see I'm not sure exactly so I'm trying to finish it before then 
Yep, so after the 902 exam, um, I finally get the overall certification, you know, when I pass it. So I will be applying to all the help desk IT support jobs. Not the ones where you gotta like, well maybe that's networking, forget it. But um, all those help desk jobs. Uh, and yeah, and I wanna work, work in one for a few months while I'm studying well long term plan since I might as well tell you now is that I've been looking a lot into like cloud development stuff so you know I'm just like okay I think I want to move into that <coughs> like next as like the next step so you know I'm, I've been thinking about studying cloud stuff um like I don't know mix my skills little devops uh so yeah um yeah so that's basically IT is basically where 80% of my energy is going um, at this moment. Uh, I'm still going to do a bunch of algorithm tutorials and um, yeah, like uh, like a bunch of leak code and just um, a list of reviews that I want to do um, related to algorithms and like still have some projects in my head. But yeah, that's, that's the rundown. Um, let me see if I forgot anything. Alright, so another thing um, that recently, kind of recently happened, um, I had a Spotify in, uh, interview, on-site, my first on, my first on-site interview, um, like a month ago? I think it was a month ago, or five weeks, or something like that. Um, on-site, they have a really nice office, but yeah, I got rejected, but it was my first on-site, so I was super hyped. There's actually going to be... I didn't want to make a video, I mean, I, okay, I made a video, but it's on my blog. <laughs> I didn't want to post uh, the video on my YouTube channel because I feel like it looks like kind of shady to make a bunch of like video responses about companies I apply to. Like I have one on Microsoft Leap and I don't know, I feel like it just looks like, it just doesn't look good. So, um... I only made a video of it anyway um, because it was my first on-site so any other company information unless I get a job at Google <laughs> if I get a job at Google one day I will make a video about that but other stuff is just gonna be my blog um, yeah so um, I forgot what I was gonna say okay so I'm still I don't think I'm going to be applying to any more software development jobs. There's like five that I'm applying to this month, um, but they're all apprenticeships-ish. Um, yeah, yeah, they're all apprenticeships. Um, and that's pretty much it. If I see an apprenticeship, I'm going to apply for it because that's like the only thing I'm apparently qualified for. It doesn't even seem like I'm qualified for apprenticeships, but... no saltiness um yeah so that's basically the update uh it development it um and guys you please pray for me because <laughs> listen if i get the a plus i need to i need to get a job um a better job uh yeah for what i want to go to like i really want to enter the tech field um so yeah I was going to start applying to like random, you know, Indeed postings and then, you know, when I get desperate, <laughs> I would start applying to like tech, like, um, no, not, yeah, like staffing agencies, tech staffing agencies. So, yeah, so we will see. So wish me luck. Um, so I've also, I've also been meaning to get into open source. Someone recently commented in my comments um, about contributing and then it reminded me like, yeah, I've been really meaning to get on that. And one of the apprenticeships I'm applying to, they're like an open source apprenticeship and they have like mentors and stuff that would like help me in the application process, I think, I hope. Um, See, so yeah, I will be getting on that and there's just a ton of YouTube videos on applying to open source. It's just, man, there's so many stuff. That's on my to-do list, but I really want to contribute something to the software development society <laughs> um, and like give back and like fluff up my resume a little more, get rid of one of those random projects and put an open source project in there. Yeah. 
so oh okay last thing last thing um thank you to everybody who reached out to me over the last few months like I really like a lot of people are pretty much going through the same thing that I'm going through like um, a lot of people hit me up on my email in my email on my LinkedIn on my blog and like somewhere else um, yeah and with just encouragement so thank you not just encouragement but like um, a lot of people you know are also saying how you know they're going through the same thing and they thought they were only the only one so I'm glad to be your like your struggle friend <laughs> I don't know um yeah so yeah even like another like woman she reached out to me she's like in her 50s and she's been in IT for years but she, she said she was uh, having a difficult time finding a job so that was cool too like just different people from all over so yeah thank you for watching this video I am not gonna give up like if I got a job offer as a software engineer like tomorrow if I got an offer like I would take it but um, that's not how life works you know so I'm gonna study for the IT exam and um, I'm gonna get the A plus and then I'm gonna get the IT job and then I'm studying for cloud certs and yeah um, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, so if you want any more updates, check my blog. Um, I, I actually opened up an Instagram. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm going to be posting all my algorithms on there. Um, like, when I'm doing them, like, I want to do, like, a bunch of algorithms. Like 50. So, let's see. I'm going to make another video, like, in, um, in, like, six weeks or something like that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Best of luck to you. And okay, bye.